I won't stop till I hear him say Warning. The information that we convey in these videos and the content on this page simply provides general consumer information. It is not legal advice or regulatory guidance. It is not intended to sway your personal bias in any way. We are simply just relaying information already available to the general public. We highly suggest you do your own research and draft your own opinion on the topics disclosed in this video breakdown. Without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy this video breakdown, and if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, consider doing so now. Bitcoin is going to $10 million per coin and XRP is going to approximately zero. Oh no, come on, really? <laughs> zero. No, there's gotta be some value for XRP. Zero. <laughs> A whole zero? A whole approximate zero. Not even point zero 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 one. one? If anything, it's gonna go below zero. <laughs> You're gonna have to pay <laughs> to get rid of your XRP. <laughs> okay, what is going on, CyberX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube page. This is going to be a quick video breakdown via some XRP and Ripple fundamentals that have just recently come out. Um, so we're gonna be talking about the Indian CBDC pilot program that was just announced and the correlation with Ripple and XRP, how it's all tied together. I'm sure that you guys saw the video from the intro right? Naysayers in the Bitcoin and rest of the cryptocurrency community saying that XRP is garbage, that it's going to go to zero. Yet we see time and time again, ripple correlation and connections with high-end entities, back-end governments, financial institutions, right? Things of that nature. And it just keeps happening time and time again, ladies and gentlemen, something big is cooking up. I hope that you guys are really, truly ready for 2024, 2025, and for the agenda to be complete. Um, you know, we have what, let's say, 29 days left of November. People were telling you in October that there's going to be a settlement. People were telling you back in the beginning of 2022 in the summertime, there was going to be a settlement. Ladies and gentlemen, wake up. This is all pre-planned, pre-programmed. Everything happens for a reason behind the scenes. Um, so let's dive into this whole CBDC pilot program and Indian um, Ripple connection. Okay. So we're going to go back to 2018. Uh, and again, you know, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, try and you try your hardest to do your own personal research. Don't believe everything that you see on the internet. Please don't get manipulated into believing that somebody knows when this court case is going to settle. I know that has nothing to do with this video breakdown, but it's just so heartbreaking to see people get manipulated in their minds to get literally played with um, by the puppet masters over and over again because of these YouTube influencers. So again, ladies and gentlemen, the documentation is there for you to read, do your research. Ripple has a 50% share of Indian market. This is back in 2018, so we're going to go back four years ago. Senior Vice President of Product at Ripple, Ashish Birla, I'm sure all of you guys know that name, spoke on a panel at the Wharton School of Business about how Ripple went about gaining a majority of market shares in order to plant its root in the world economy. Hmm, that's a crazy statement right there. Birla said that they would try and convince Indian financial institutions to join RippleNet. Fast forward now to 2019, another updated article. We see Ripple Indians Federal Bank team on cross-border payments. So I guess them convincing banks in India to join actually came into fruition. We see this article reads, Federal Bank in India has partnered with blockchain payments company Ripple to facilitate cross-border payments. The Federal Bank confirmed that the collaboration and announcement to the Bombay Stock Exchange on Thursday, this is to inform federal banks that they have entered into partnerships with Ripple Inc. and blockchain supported global remnants company for cross-border remnants through its network. The announcement said, powered by the blockchain-enabled solution, Ripple platform ensures cross-border transactions and much safer and secure. Now we come over here to an article that was put out just a couple weeks ago. It says Ripple Advisor teases more CBDC announcements in the next few weeks. Hmm, why do you think this came out? This came out on September 7th, almost two months ago, right? The blockchain company has been pushing hard into the CBDC space since piloting its CBDC private ledger aimed at central banks in March 2021. Ripple may soon unveil positive developments in its central bank digital currency CBDC projects following hints from Ripple CBDC advisors Anton Welfare of more announcements to come. And we already know Brad Garlinghouse has publicly stated that they do not announce all the partnerships they have behind closed doors to the general public until their customers are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, wake up. 
we are on the retail side of things. That means that we get information literally months after it drops to the global elites and the people that are in control of our financial economy. Um, so then we come over here. All right. That was an interesting article to read and see how they're literally just dropping little subtile hints. This article came out just yesterday on October 31st, 2022, excuse me, two days ago, because now today's the second. But this article reads, India's central bank to start wholesale CBDC pilot program. And again, coming back here. We see Ripple Advisor teases at more CBDC announcements. So how is this all correlated with Ripple and the connection with RippleNet and XRP? India's central bank will introduce a pilot wholesale central bank digital currency, CBDC. Now, again, they're not going to directly say that there is a partnership to Ripple. You have to be able to piece it together. Who is partnered with Ripple already? Who is already utilizing XRP and Ripple technology, right? Nine prominent banks have been identified for participation in the pilot. Hmm, who are these um, nine participating banks? So just to name a few right here, and just to cut the life of this video a little bit short, there are State Bank of India, SBIN, Bank of Burrata, Sorry, excuse me if I butchered that. Union Bank of India, um, HDFC, ICIC, Kotak Bank, Yes Bank, IDFC First Bank, and HSB. So just to grab a couple off of here to, again, correlate this with Ripple, show you guys how it's all interconnected. They're not just going to go out and blatantly be like, oh, yeah, you know, India is going to definitely 110% use Ripple's technology. No, because wh what would that do? Again, ladies and gentlemen, it would boost sentiment. Right now, they're trying to suppress the price of XRP. They do not want you involved, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to do this behind the scenes, okay? They're going to fudge you out of the market, <laughs> and it's working. It's working. People are being flooded out of their positions right now. And then you know what? At the end of the day, the people that stuck to their guns, did their research, and really understand the true value of XRP in the future. Again, no bullish moon boy hype, ladies and gentlemen here. I've never given you guys a bullish moon boy target. Because if we are correct, and XRP really does take in all the money, people don't even understand how much money is out there right? That's the thing, okay? I even tweeted out to you guys the other day before I finished off this, this little connection, that if Doge can pump off speculation, Twitter hype, and zero utility, how can someone not believe in XRP? It's insane, the general, uh, the general misinformation that's out there. Anyways, okay? So again, we see Yes Bank, IDFC, First Bank, and HSBC. Again, how is this all correlated with Ripple? Uh, we come over here to the Ripple.com website. This article reads, 10 more financial institutions join Ripple's global payment network. Scrolling down here to the meat of this article, Indian is the largest recipient of personal remittances in the world. And as a leading Indian bank with a strong focus on technology, we are glad to partner with Ripple. Who's glad to partner with Ripple? Yes, bank. Hmm, coming over here to who is a part of that test pilot program for the um, Central Bank of India, CBDC pilot program, right? Yes, bank. Boom, right there, okay? To finish off this, it says, to realize the enhanced effect efficiencies of blockchain for real-time cross-border payments. This partnership is a continuation of Yes Bank's ethos of state-of-the-art technology innovation to offer superior banking experiences to our customers. Oh man, you can't get any more serious than that right there. Literally, Yes Bank, who is part of this pilot program for the Central Bank of India, right, piloting this CBDC, says that superior technology is Ripple's technology. Hmm, okay. And then we come back over here again, another banking institution, IDFC First Bank, testing this pilot program. We come over here to the website, idfcfirstbank.com. Banks and financial institutions have started to accept and launch their own entries in the blockchain ecosystem. Some banks have launched their own cryptocurrency to be used for funds, transfers, and faster settlements, while others have launched blockchain-based investment products. Many banks are using the Ripple Network and XRP for instant payments, cross-border payments, and multiple other use cases. Again, uh, IDFC First Bank is part of this whole entire um, pilot program. And then last but not least, just to highlight and again, cut the, the sake of this video length short, HSBC, we come over here straight to the ripple.com website, HSBC executive and Swift board member joins Ripple to support continued global growth. So again, ladies and gentlemen, behind the scenes, it's all interconnected. It's literally like the internet of things, okay? The internet of value, all connected behind the scenes. They're not going to go out and blatantly tell you the protocols and the technology that runs the the interbank system behind the scenes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, people really got to wake up and see how manipulated this is right now. Uh, anyways, blessings to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video breakdown real fast, quick little update on this whole Indian CBDC pilot announcement that just got released and dropped. Ripple's correlation and connection with the whole endeavor going on behind the scenes. Blessings to you all. Always be cognizant, be aware, do your own personal research, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're not already smash that thumbs up button. It does help boost the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you guys in the next YouTube video breakdown. Won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh.